It is hard to imagine lives today without the gadgets and technology, and most of these gadgets were born in Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is enriching human lives everywhere. So when did this revolution start? Silicon Valley refers to the place Santa Clara Valley in Northern California. This place is famous for silicone transistor, the main material for cheap and effective computer chips. The area where Silicon Valley started was the land where fruits grow. David Starr Jordan, president of Stanford University, first came here to work on Lee DeForest's Audion tube. He invested $500 for the project. That amount was huge for that era. Mr. DeForest's invention of the vacuum tube in the year 1906 was seen as the start of New Age Silicon Valley movement. However, it is Frederick Terman, who many refer to as the father of Silicon Valley. He was an electrical engineer professor at Stanford University. He was not just a teacher. He taught his students a valuable lesson. He wanted his students to work on their dreams, venture into own businesses, innovate something rather than just work for companies and earn a salary. He asked the students to start working for local companies. He wanted them to learn firsthand. He wanted his students to learn from practical experiences rather than just reading the textbooks. Many believe that Terman's way of thinking gave birth to future Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. The universities and free-thinking professors are the reason why U.S. defense authorities decided to spend on Silicon Valley projects. The Stanford Research Center was innovating new things in technology, and those innovations were creating a positive impact on the lives of American people. Terman was head of this research work. He not only encouraged his students to work on innovating things, but he also encouraged famous scientists to come in that areas and do research. He wanted investors. He wanted engineers from all over the U.S. to come and research at Stanford. Stanford was a powerful person, and he had the ability to convince people. By the year 1953, companies like Lockheed and Hewlett-Packard came to the Bay Area and decided to make the place their main headquarter. These companies were ready to invest big bucks. They knew they will get resources and the students of Stanford University will work for them in near future. This Northern California found more mainstream popularity in 1956, when William Shockley won the Nobel Prize for co-inventing transistor. A transistor needs a switch. So do computers. Shockley decided to set up Shockley Semiconductor Laboratories near Palo Alto. Engineers started working for his company. But in 1957, some of the engineers working for his company decided to leave and innovate something of their own. They invested their own money for the venture. These engineers wanted to build transistors made out of silicon. They wanted transistors to be cheap so middle-class Americans can also purchase the exciting device. They went ahead with their plan and started a company with the name Fairchild Semiconductor. The company started to develop circuits from silicon, usable for both computers and translators. The chips they made for computers made the device smaller than the previous versions. This silicon chips were cheaper and easier to make. Companies developed huge interest on these chips, and they wanted more. Developers understood silicon chips can make computers cheaper, and common citizens can finally purchase them. The silicon-made chips changed the world of computer, and the place that made first silicon chips got the name Silicon Valley. The history of Silicon Valley is not too old. After all, computer and internet became part of the day-to-day -day lives the only a couple of decades ago. But the contribution of Silicon Valley cannot be denied. An ordinary landscape known for fruit farming became the place that changed the way people use the internet. Students from middle-class families will forever be grateful to some nerds who decided to change the world of technology. There are many people who were big contributors behind SV's success, but Frederick Terman was most significant. He is the person who first had the idea behind Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley creates money, and since the beginning played a big part in the American economy. American presidents always spoke highly about SV, and time to time they invited masterminds from SV for dinner at White House. 
even though there were some dark clouds, some unwanted criticism, overall, Silicon Valley has a glorious history to look back to.